Hey y'all, in this lesson I'm going to give you a quick video on how to use brush files in Photoshop Elements. I have a much longer tutorial in the subscriber area, I believe in uh, course two maybe. And um, so this is just going to be a quick one for those that are purchasing products in our store. Um, I have here my layout of uh, my husband's uh, grandparents actually after a tornado hit their home in 1949 he's uh, picking up through the rubble here with a stick you can see and she's got um, some things they found in her hand and and the look on her face just kind of says it all um, just this is such a moving photo for me since it's um, people in the family and, and part of our family history. But I used brushes in the background to kind of emulate a tornado coming through. And um, we're going to go ahead and get rid of most of this stuff on the layout. This is going to be a template also. Uh, there's the brush strokes. And these are the uh, brush strokes that I used. They are um, Jody Ann Sky Pie pencil scratches, and they are also commercial use, which are really great for making um, papers. And so brush files come with a .abr file and um, you can permanently install this into Photoshop and Photoshop Elements but um, I don't know when Photoshop Elements began doing this because uh, what version because I just now discovered it also works in Photoshop um, and I didn't think that it had before but if you take this .abr file and just drag it over and then um, go to your brush tool and scroll down to whoops it looks like it's only showing me the first one it did this to me earlier I don't know why there's only one there so let's go back and try it again let's just drag that over and then go back in and there's only one now I'm telling you I did that just a short while ago and it installed all of them and maybe if we go back from text to large thumbnail and there they all are you saw it yourself folks just kinda of being quirky in fact there they all are twice because I installed them twice now let's say um, you don't wanna leave them installed like that to get rid of them just choose any other brush and then go back to the default brushes and now they're gone you might get a pop-up saying do you want to um, remove those so uh, once again all I did was drag them over and <laughs> look only one of them okay um, it's just being quirky folks and there they are <laughs> all five of them I uh, don't quite get it uh, but then you can use these brushes. Uh, I want to show you though in the file for those maybe with older versions of PSE if you can't get that dragging the ABR over to install it you have also these .png files in here with the brush strokes on them. Now you can just open one of those up and um, drag it over to your image as such and you know move it around just like anything else lower the opacity use uh, blending modes um, let me tuck this away use some blending modes maybe you know that blending mode didn't work because I was black so you could do that if you wanted but um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these and show you how easy it is to quickly make a brush with these PNG files because you have so much more options to do when you have a brush. Um, if you just simply click Control A 
you can see that it's made marching ant selection all the way around the outside and then go to the edit drop down menu and define brush it comes up with the name of her PNG file and click OK and that's it go back and when you go into your brush fo folder the one you just created is right here at the bottom so uh, if you can't get it to install another way you can quickly make brushes with those PNG files also just um, control A edit and create that brush it's simple as that so I'm going to select this brush and um, make sure I have a new layer to work on and I'm just going to click down and of course whatever my foreground color is which is black right now is what is going to um, stamp down I could change the color if I wanted but so you have so many other things to play with here you can use I uh, with I'm gonna back up I could apply a blending mode right here to this layer to get that effect but let's say I wanted to um, use that blending mode from the brush tools and I can click down uh, I this is I didn't notice much of a difference on that one I don't remember which one I used but uh, also I'll go back to normal what I use often though with the brushes is lowering the opacity and I can change this with each br time I click down and so I might have the brush with the opacity like that and I might quickly go up here if you just hover over the word opacity you're gonna see your cursor changes to a double arrow on the other side of the finger and so you could quickly go up and then stamp down again and just change this constantly of course you have all your other brush options which I have in a uh, tutorial let's uh, turn it and we could stamp down again you can see we're already getting a wide variety of effect um, as something else then you could do once you got this going here is to switch to your eraser tool and come on down and get that same brush you made and you know lower that opacity and kind of erase out some of the brush of course use your bracket keys you know to make the brush larger and smaller and just have fun um, and see right now I'm erasing parts of it so I'm gonna go back and bring my photo back up and there's the brush strokes I made and now I did use the eraser on this one here because it just seemed a little too dark and so I made this brush the eraser brush rather large and came in here and just kind of napped it a couple times on a low opacity and um, that took care of that remember like for this brush right up here for this in the corner I actually only used a very small part I allowed my brush to come off and into the desktop where it wasn't really going to stamp and I did the same thing uh, down here you gotta zoom out to get it but I did the same thing down here to get this one allowed that to come off the page I want to show you something else with this layout um, for those that are learning the design principles in course one we know that we always want the eye to go to the photo first and um, in this case my husband and I talked a long time about what title we wanted on this and, and had a, a wide variety of ideas and we decided we just wanted to make a simple bold statement uh, gone everything is gone and uh, so I wanted that what we were trying to convey with this I wanted it to be large I wanted it to be stand out however let me show you I have this layer here 
and on it I have my uh, vellum layer styles um, which are available in the store and right now these papers here are part of Janet B's possibility kit <coughs> there in the store um, Jody Ann's uh, brushes we just looked at are currently in the store and but I used my vellum layer style on this simple shape and I'm going to remove it and I want you to look at where your eye goes first it goes to the title first because the title is so large um, so size is the number one factor in determining where your eye goes first that I call them the design principles and I think there's seven of them that I teach in course one and so with this um, we wanted our the title to to gain attention and speak but we didn't I didn't want it to be the focal point of the entire layout so simply adding that little strip of vellum did enough to tone down that title and put the focus back on the photo and I'm gonna toggle it on and off so you can see now the eye goes to the title first and now it goes to the photo first what a big difference a little simple piece of vellum does for the entire layout and you almost miss it um, and it kind of also goes with the uh, theme if you think about it because it's gone and and it's got something in front of it and it's fading it out uh, along with the um, brushwork that looks like a swirling tornado coming through. But anyway, that's a little bit of a, a tip for you, and that is also how to use um, the brush files, basically. Uh, more advanced tutorial in the subscriber area, and I think it's actually a free PDF out there for you to learn about brushes, too ask in the forum if you want to know where those are at and uh, I hope you've uh, been encouraged to go out and buy brushes and use them <laughs>